Uh, this place is like a godsend. It's like a bunch of angels that are set here to help people. There's a quote that there's uh, infinite needs in the world. Find one of your great passions and match it to that great need. And the need was there in so many places across the state and across the country uh, where there was an enormous, almost infinite need for access to care. You go, you see the patient, do the physical exam. So we spend a lot of our time teaching the students how you can do high quality, person-centered healthcare and still be cost effective. So we have almost every medical student in the first year of medical school at San Diego is involved with us. We have a transdisciplinary model, which is pharmacy and dentistry and social work and community members and lawyers and students all working together to help people take charge of their life. Like our dental clinic, we don't want to just do poverty dentistry, which means you're pulling teeth. We do restorative dentistry because we believe that toothlessness leads to joblessness. When we first began, it was um, one room in the basement of a church where there was a group doing terrific work with the street homeless. And the first night, 10 people came and we just began. And really the question is what to do now about the blood pressure, I mean, the, your blood pressure? Since we started, we've moved from one site to three sites, about to start a fourth. Our current operating budget is about a million dollars, but the truth is it's at least three times that, four times that, if you looked at all the donated services. Since we started 12 years ago, we have served 34,000 medical and dental patient visits. We have also provided for free 1,000 prescriptions a month. We have all these young future health professionals with passion, compassion, a desire to make a difference, and our system tends to beat it out of them. And our program, they arrive with those values and those passions and we keep it alive. So over the years, I recognize a few things. Number one, I'm a symbol for something important. And what I often will say is that uh, there's this person, Ellen Beck, that people really admire, and I really admire her too, and I do everything I can to become her every day. <laughs>